Welcoming the Elohim. Yeah, the the planet the Elohim. Mark said uh, something beautiful. He said, I read the book, I read the message, and I didn't, it didn't interest me so much. And when I met Maitreya, I felt something so powerful that I had to read the book again and then I became Raelian. Some stupid sheep would say, oh, you have been brainwashed. It's not intelligent. Because sheep want to be intelligent. And that's why they are sheep. Because they want to be intelligent. When you want to be intelligent, it proves that you are not intelligent. Because if you are intelligent, you don't want to be intelligent. You are. So the, in, the sheep, they want to be intelligent. And more, more, they want to look intelligent. They want to think. The media tell them, tell you, what should we think? Which is the most stupid and possible sentence. Totemobaka. <laughs> if you have to think something, you're not thinking. You're not intelligent. You just... Meh. Huh? Let's imitate the sheep. It's so good feeling. It's kind of our, huh? Meh. Meh. At least if they were doing only that, they would be a little bit more intelligent. So, I think it's in English, subjugate, to subjugate, to really impress people. They believe you have to be intelligent. They have school of philosophy. What do they study in school of philosophy? They study, study what other people were thinking. They still don't think. They study what other people thought in the past. If you study what people thought in the past, you don't need to think. So you are still not intelligent. You can be a doctor in philosophy without thinking, without being intelligent. Or you can be. You can be. And when I met Mark, I was not intelligent. I just was. I was me. And he could feel. He could feel what I was. Who I was. And the same when I meet you. Each of you. I don't listen to what you say. Sorry. Come and listen. 
I don't listen to you, blah, blah, you tell me. I feel who you are. And like a beautiful sentence, say, who you are, talk to so strongly that I cannot hear your voice. Who you are is speaking with such a strong voice that I cannot hear your voice. Because what you are, this I can, I can feel. And not only what you are, each of you, that's why you love me. I don't see you like you are. I see you like what you can be. If you do what, what all the potential you have. You can have been gangster, yakuza, prostitute, journalist, the same. I don't care. I see who you can be. And it's so beautiful. And please, if you want to feel love from Elohim, don't listen to my words. Feel. Like Mark. Feel. You, if you really stop thinking, if you stop trying to be intelligent and look in my eyes, you will feel the love of Elohim. And you will never be the same. You will suddenly feel infinity. Because the love of Elohim is a manifestation of infinity. Infinity. Do you do you feel it? It's not a little Maitreya talking to you. It's not even Elohim. It's infinity. I'm messenger of Elohim, not so important. Messenger of infinity. And and infinity is love. Infinity makes you feel one. Number one with yourself. Number two with other people. And with everything. Don't think. Feel. Meditation is feeling. In this infinite world of illusions, where everything is illusion, everything, politic, religion, money, you know, your job, education, everything is illusion. Even in the most advanced and highest spiritual teaching is illusion. Even Elohim, even the message, full of illusions. But what is? No illusion. Only one thing. Infinity. Infinity and love, which is the same thing. Do you understand? It's not enough. Do you feel it? That's better. If you understand, you put 
your intelligence between infinity and love and yourself. Like it's written in France, don't put a bicycle to, on this wall. Don't put your thought between infinity, love and yourself. As soon as you think about it, you lose it. But if you feel it, you become it. The most beautiful meditation about here and now. Uh, in the last seminar I was teaching, eh, the meditation, I'm not my past. I'm not no thought about the future. You remember, everybody? No thinking about now. Okay. And the same after I did about time. Yeah, time and space. The so next uh, gate to infinity, first gate is through meditation of time. Second gate to infinity is meditation in space. You're Now, now, there is no, there is no now. Now is an illusion. If you divide the one second by one million of million of million, you still can continue to divide it. So when people say happiness is a here and now, can it, can it be the fruit of uh, thinking? And rational intelligence? Of course not. Because there is no now. And see, now it's two, three seconds. So it's one second, okay, now. Faster, now. No, no, no. No, it's too long. So if you divide it, you know, like the camera, uh, one thousandth of a second. You cut it one million. One nanosecond. I think scientific name, nanosecond. One millionth of a second. Picasecond, gigasecond, call it as you want. You still can divide it. Infinitely. So there is no now for the intelligence brain. So, happiness is now, and there is no now. So if you use the intelligence, there is no now. But if you feel, yes. You can feel now. But you cannot measure it. Because if you measure it, you use your intelligence. Do you understand? Yeah. It cannot be measured. Infinity in time cannot be measured. In space. Okay, happiness is here. Sorry, here, mistake. Here, no. Okay, where? Right, okay, one, only one foot. Because uh, it cannot be the two. But uh, my foot is long like that. Where? Okay, one centimeter. You can divide. One millimeter. And one million. Where is here? Uh, you can divide infinitely. If you use your intelligence, there is no here. There is no here. It's an illusion. There is no now and there is no here. But we keep saying happiness is here and now. And there is no here. And there is no now. If we use intelligence. But if we feel there is here. 
and there is now, which cannot be measured. Now and here cannot be measured. It's infinity. And love cannot be measured. Love is infinity. You cannot measure love. Ah, my love is bigger than your love. No. A real love is infinite and cannot be measured. So, remember, happiness is here and now. If you feel here, and if you feel now, then you use all your being to feel here and now, and not to measure or think about it. If you think about it, you can only be depressed. If you think about love, you don't know love. But if you feel it, you discover with amazement what is love. What is, it? What is infinity? What is here? And now. Good evening to all.